Gomez and Morticia should be on the grand scale. Mm. They would have a, 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 a relationship of great passion. John Ashton is an American actor, TV director, film director, teacher, and voice actor. He's considered a Hollywood legend and first appeared in the musical West Side Story. John Ashton became famous by portraying mainly wacky and eccentric characters on prolific television programs over many decades. He's probably most famous for playing Gomez Adams in the 1960s version of The Adams Family. Ashton was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Live Action Short Film for his directorial debut, the comedic short Prelude, in 1968. The notable films of this actor include The Frighteners, Teen Wolf 2, Freaky Friday, National Lampoon's European Vacation, and That Touch of Mink. Ashton has also been nominated for an Emmy Award and an Ace Award. To make up this character. Mm. Uh, I had arguments with the network, or they wanted to shave my head around here to resemble a cartoon. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is John Allen Aston, but is also known as John. He was born March 30th, 1930 in Baltimore, Maryland, making him 91 at the time of this production. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall or 1.803 meters. The star sign of John is Aries and the color of his eyes is brown. John is a fan of the works of Edgar Allan Poe and studies Poe's works extensively. He's regularly attended Baltimore's yearly celebration of Poe's birthday. John practices Nichiren Buddhism as a member of the global Buddhist association called Soka Gakkei International. He's acting mentor and friends with Lisa Loring and the late Ken Weatherwax. Aston's most famous role to date is the patriarch Gomez Adams on the 1960s series The Adams Family. But it turns out he was originally supposed to play Lurch, the towering servant. John's brother, Alexander, is a professor emeritus at UCLA, and he's considered among the most influential scholars in the field of higher education research. Three generations of John's family have worked with Peter Jackson. John appeared in The Frighteners, and Sean Ashton appeared in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Then Sean's daughter, Allie, appeared in The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. He's appeared in three separate episodes of Night Gallery. During each episode, his character was killed. And during two episodes, his character found himself in hell. He's twice played father to Jodie Foster. They appeared together as father and daughter in the Disney comedy Freaky Friday. On the live action sitcom The Addams Family, John plays Gomez Adams. On the animated series in the early 1970s, Jodie voiced Pugsley Adams. John and Valeria are leaders of the Buddhist group in Santa Monica, California. He's a brother of Alexander W. Aston, Professor Emeritus at UCLA, who's considered one of the most influential scholars in the field of higher education research. From his first marriage to Suzanne Hahn, John has three sons. They divorced in 1972. He was married to actress Patty Duke from 1972 to 1985. Patty came to the marriage with a one-year-old baby son named Sean. John would soon adopt Sean, who would take on his last name. Today, the world knows Sean Astin from roles in many movies and TV shows. John and Patty also had a biological child of their own, a son named Mackenzie, who was born in 1973. Mackenzie also became an actor. John married Valerie Ann Sandoval in 1989. John is the grandfather of actress Allie Aston, Sedona Aston, Jaya Aston, Isabella Louise Aston, and Elizabeth Louise Aston. That would work better. And it turns out yeah. that's one of the strongest that's one of the strongest elements in the show is the Gomez Morticia relationship. He's the son of Margaret Linney and Dr. Alan Varley Aston. His father was the director of the National Bureau of Standards, which is now called the National Institute of Standards and Technology. At that time, Aston and his family resided on Battery Lane in Bethesda, Maryland. 
He graduated from Johns Hopkins University in 1952 after transferring from Washington and Jefferson College. He studied mathematics at Washington and Jefferson and then drama at Johns Hopkins. He was a member of the Phi Kappa Psi fraternity at Johns Hopkins. He started his acting career in theater. He moved to New York hoping for a breakthrough in his career. He had to take up menial jobs to keep himself afloat during those aspirational years. He worked as a sweeper at an off-Broadway theater which staged the New York classic The Three Penny Opera. In 1954, a couple of years after moving to New York, John Ashton became part of the original cast of the show. He was called for the show's second run in 1955 and continued playing his part until December 1961. Aston took up work as a voice artist for cartoons and commercials on TV while pursuing his career in Broadway and off-Broadway productions. In 1956, he got his big break as an understudy in Charles Lawton's famous Broadway production of George Bernard Shaw's Major Barbara, simultaneously starting his TV and film careers in 1960. Aston landed small but memorable parts. He appeared in single episodes on TV shows such as Maverick, The Twilight Zone, 77 Sunset Strip, and Ben Casey. He also made his first silver screen appearance in The Punisher. His first big break in film came with a small role in West Side Story. During the 1960s, he appeared in That Touch of Mink, Move Over Darling, The Wheeler Dealers, The Spirit is Willing, Candy, and Viva Max. He bagged his first lead role in the ABC sitcom I'm Dickens, He's Fenster in 1962. Based on cartoons created by Charles Adams, the horror black comedy The Adams Family became one of Ashton's most memorable works. From 1964 to 1966, Ashton was the patriarch of one of the oldest fictional families on TV. In 2001, John Ashton returned to Johns Hopkins to revive their drama course and has taught there ever since. His latest project was the 2017 animated series Justice League Action, which saw him contribute as a voice artist. Because there were people who objected to, you know, tell Gomez Adams to confine his, you know, sexual advances to the bedroom. John has mainly accumulated his net worth by appearing in several successful movies and TV shows. Back in 1961, he appeared in the movie West Side Story. This movie was successful and grossed more than $44 million in box office sales. The next year, this actor appeared as Mr. Everett Beasley in That Touch of Mink. This movie grossed over $17 million in box office sales. The box office sales of his next movie, Move Over Darling, were $15.91 million in 1968. John appeared in the movie Candy, which grossed over $16 million in box office sales. In 1985, Ashton appeared in National Lampoon's European Vacation, which earned $49.4 million in box office sales. John made $138,910 from his movies in 2006. He has a net worth of $6 million. Currently, John lives in his house in Baltimore along with his family. John and Valeria have been living in this house for the past 30 years. The house features four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, a half bathroom, a swimming pool, and a spacious kitchen. John Ashton likely has the following cars in his garage, a Dodge Challenger, an Aston Martin, a Cadillac Eldorado,
a Mercedes Benz. A Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> 